Hi, this is Ian at Wheel Computer Services. Today I've got a Toshiba L300. Now it uh, it won't load um, properly, so uh, we're going to do the diagnostic and uh, and then the solution. Now I've already spoke to the lady about this, and she says, "Well, just you know, she thinks it's a problem with the operating system, and she wants me to load a new one." And I was talking with her, I said, well, what does your son use it for? And she says, Facebook, YouTube, etc., etc. I said, well, rather than buying a new Windows license, because she doesn't have the original license, um, we'll put in a Linux-based system, like Jolie, and that that's uh, one I can load off of a USB stick. Um, I, I use it for installing uh, notepads, notebooks, um, netbook computers, and things like that that don't have a CD drive. Um, it's a good little bit of software. Um, works well. You uh, link up to your Facebook account. And you add to your social media. Off of that, it's cloud-based. You see. Um, we'll turn it on. We'll show you what happens. So when it loads up. You try and press F8. That that would bring up the safe mode option. Just keep pressing F8. That should bring up a list of save mode options, and we're not getting them. Wait a little while, see if anything happens. Nah. So we turn it off. Turn it back on again. I'm just going to let it go through and see what it does. So it wants to uh, load the Windows Vista, so we'll say yes. There we go. So, Windows has encountered a problem communicating with the device connected to this computer. This error can be caused by unplugging a removable storage device such as an external USB drive while the device is in use, or by faulty hardware such as a hard drive or CD-ROM drive that is failing. Make sure any removable storage is properly connected and then restart the computer. Okay. So before I reload the new operating system onto this, I'm going to examine the CD drive first. There's no USB connected drive it drives to it. It's a CD drive and a hard drive, we're going to check. Uh, so let's just push the button on the CD drive. And ah, there we go. Look, see, nothing's happening. Doesn't, do what, doesn't want to bother. Now, on CD drives, there's a little hole, and if you've got a fine screwdriver or paper clip, something like that, you can bob it into the hole, and there's a little clutch, and then once you click the clutch, you can remove the tray, and look at that, smashed in half. So obviously, the ribbon cable there, you can see, has actually been torn, it's been ripped. But this is why it's not communicating correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, turn it off and we're going to remove the CD drive. Well, normally there's a, a fixing screw. I can't see a fixing screw for the CD drive. Let's uh, see if it's underneath. There it is. So we take that fixing screw out there. The drive will just slide out now. You can see the damage, look at that. Just that's been what that that's happened there is that's been left hanging out the computer and somebody's hit it or stepped on it or 
or something. So this will need replacing. Put this cover back in here. Because I'll have to order that new part. Might have a CD drive that will fit that. So now, if we turn it on, hopefully, because no faulty drive, I think the hard drive will be alright. Let's see if it will load up. No, it's still giving the same the same error. We'll uh, run the memory diagnostic. This takes some time, so uh, I'll spin on. So the memory diagnostic didn't bring up any problems. Let's try and run this other version of Vista. That's reset. And the same, same, same issue. Just resetting. Let's go to F12 and we'll see if we can boot this CD drive. So let's throw in Ultimate Boot CD and see if we can get if the CD drivers working. So the CD drive is working. Let's do a hard drive test. Like a glove. New bezel. New, new CD drive. Install that.
Okay, I'm going to go away for a bit now and um, phone the customer and inform her that she needs to pay for the uh, the drive I've replaced. Um, and then I'll uh, return to do the, the installation. Okay, so of course we're not.